Fight on the bridge! As you approach on the third day, the fast offs are more disarrayed than usual. Where's the the bar the warriors are more disarrayed than usual. Where's Fossil? you ask one of the passenger. Didn't make it, he replies. Dredge are nearly at the mouth of the bridge, where you hold back, your mind starts to wander to dark places. You snap back to attention when you rise near the entire army of Valar staring in your direction. Ivir walks past, shuffling slowly with an enormous axe in his remaining head, tw heading towards the bridge. Ivir, you yell! He doesn't reply, plunging his axe into the nether's dredge before kicking it over the side of the bridge. Come on, he screams! Cursing, you rush the bell on his side. Ivir! We need more shields. We need more shields. Alright. Your damage. Um, do we need more shields? I think we need more shield, guys. Uh, okay. Um, you're not good. What are you? You're a backbiter. Uh, 11, 12. Alright, so we're going with Hogan with this, I think. Don't worry, we got your back. We got your back. Uh, you need an item. We don't have any rank twos? Crap. Alright. Alette has the rank two, so I will give it... What's this for? Two will. Um, sure, why not? And anybody else has a rank two that we're not... Nope, we only bought one rank two. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine. We're fine. We're good. This is good. But Mogan has a rank two. Or rank one. And eh, why not? Give it to him. Alright. Let's go! Day three! And Fast Off didn't make it. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna do... We're gonna deal with this side first, so Hogan, you. Ready? I am staying here. Um, 
They're diagonal. Hopefully you won't. That's not considered. Okay. Let's do that. Yes. Nice. We have to do this, guys. Enough of this, groans Ivir, who seems to have snapped out of his days. This is getting us nowhere. You fall as he climbs the stairs and throws the doors of the Great Hall. Oh. Igvar, glad to see you well. You swear you catch a note of trepidation in the king's voice. Ah. Your endure. Enough. This fight cannot be won. Again this? I'll be damned if that bridge falls during my reign. You'll let your whole race die? We'll all be gone someday, Igvar. I need not tell you. There are no more Varro being made tomorrow, or a thousand years from now. We are it. And I will not destroy what we have made. Would you leave no trace of us when we are gone, as if we never existed? I know this, but yours is one voice of many. I know that the Ivar are equal. And the days of K the Kendir are over. I ask these who are all there is left in the world to follow me and live another day. Who do you think they will choose? The weight of the air in the Great Hall becomes so thick it nearly suffocates you. The silence continues for ages. Go on. Take the Mender, destroy the bridge. Do it and leave. Take whoever would join you and do not return to my city. Because it will be ashes anyways. The alliance of man, the alliance of man and Varl is through. Ivir is almost out the door before your Nordar has feared finished his sentence. Cool. Led by Ivir, the Var push hard one last time against the dredge until there is room enough for Ivan to take position and start raining thunderbolts on the bridge supports. Before long, the masonry is a shattered mess and begins to give under its own weight. Var and dredge alike race to to escape the collapse. When the dust clears, there's a gulf between you and the furious dredge. They won't be crossing this way. You've gotten what you wanted, says Yorindir. Now leave. If I see man or mender again, it will be too soon. Ivan tells you, Juno will be waiting for us in Strigholm. Despite the end of the immediate threat, many of will choose to join Ivor instead of following Yorindir. You depart with a long caravan at your heels. 23 Varl. That's not bad. Of the bones of our, of our bones, the hills. Yeah, our hills are gonna be made of bone. Didn't let me get supplies before. We have great morale, guys. We have very good morale. I 
I hope we can get moved food. That'd be nice. We're outrunning a serpent too, so that's not great. Ahead, you find what appears to be a good number of peasants surrounded by brigands. One of the armed men looks over his soldiers and says, God be damned, this is all I need. Listen, don't interfere, and one of the supply wagons is yours. Back away, or these people are gonna die. Or you die. The man turns completely towards. I had the feeling that you'd be that type before the brigands rush at you. Fight the brigands! This is a good level up experience. So let's trade off you for you. How many people have you killed? How many people have Olaf killed? Ah, she needs one more. Keep her in. Um, you're rank five. You're never going to. You're never gonna. I guess we should rank you up. You're gonna be with us for a while. Be over here with what's his face. Perfect! Two shield guys, two axe guys. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. We should get him to three. Most of our items are for three. I don't know why I bought so much shit. Maybe we can take their supply wagon. for everyone. Can we get some of your food? When the brigands either fall on or fled, the peasants that 
they left behind thank you profusely. It's true what they said, one tells you. We took the food and left. Many gods have mercy on us. I let them die. They hesitantly joined your caravan. Yay! More food, more people. Can we, can we teach you guys how to fight? That would be nice if we could teach you how to fight. An old man sits astride an overgrown portion of the trail. You lost, you ask? He adjusts a leather strap on his head. No, are you? He jumps up and shuffles towards the caravan, his tired clothes revealing no weapons. I've seen better, the old man says, peering into the supply wagon. But I'll join you. He stands next to a fighter, throws, over, throws his beard over his shoulder and puffs out his chest. The fighter grins and the stranger exhales, asking, Where are we went for? Laying away. Who are you and what are you doing here? Call me Unnar, and anything else you'd like. A man goes where he pleases, doesn't he? He's stern looks most more common in Italy. But you stop looking. You're welcome to join if you can keep the pace. Keep the pace, the old man puffs through. No fleer than old Unnar, and the, and the husbands, mind your wives. I'm cursed with a golden tongue, not silver. The Jarrett Caravan joins a good laugh, and they start moving once again. Hey, improved morale. We're going this way. It appears a large that large figures fall from the direction of I Ark Ulf. Olaf watches intently before finally saying, They have a cart. I can hear it. You s you slow to get a better view and spy a small caravan and bar. Eventually they catch up. Ubin! Greetings, Ivir. It's been a while since we talk, hasn't it? You old coot! I know you! Ubin, never imagined you'd be one to defy the king. What made you leave? Someone had to. What do you mean? Bellower is heading this way. Whoa, shit. Already? How is that possible? A group of Varro from Wormto showed up around the back of Iron Ark Orf, the long way. Bell and his army chased them across the summer path, they said. Past Wormto? That doesn't make sense. Bellower was at the bridge. He must have doubled back after the serpent appeared. While we fought on the bridge, he left half the horses around the, to approach I aren't Ulf from behind. The attack on the bridge was a feint. Don't tell anybody... Don't let anybody tell you the dredge aren't clever. I aren't Ulf will fall within a day. Maybe not. He's following you. I thought one of you might know why. You gl exchange nervous glances, but nobody speaks up. Must be me, then. Is there something I don't know? There's quite a grudge he's holding he's coming after you, I hear. Doesn't matter. Our only chance is to get to Skurg home. Juno will know what to do. We'll join you. I bring supplies and warriors and my friend Gunnolf. Gunnolf! I believe he'd be happy to swing it for you. Gunnolf is back! He sucked, but he's back! And we have supplies! Everything good! Ish. Morale this time. We might need to rest for the night. If this keeps up. The caravan stops at a split in the road. Ahead, the path leading to Sergnar veers off into the hills, which are now swimming with familiar black shapes. Shit! Dredge that way too, Grimmis's I Elvir? The summer path leads straight to Straycomb, while taking the main road will add several days. They're every way by now, suggests Ubin. I suggest we go around past Hogstop. Um, we've got good renown. Let's go around. I hate to say it, you tell Ivan, but I'm not willing to walk into swarms of dredge anymore. Juno will have to wait. You turn towards the long round around Hogstop. Hoping you save lives in the process. More renown! Yay! Alright, minus seven supplies, morale decline. We're still at more normal, so once we get bad, I think we'll we'll stop and rest for tonight. I think that's a, a solid plan. Up ahead, a scout shouts. Some giant hall, but it's empty. You approach the structure, but recognize none of the markings. The walls seem unsteady at the best. Finally sleeping under a roof, you overhear several officers begin unpacking. Um, alright, let's make sure this place is safe first. 
Several volunteers search the building with weapons drawn. Just as they are announcing all clear, Avaro leans against the support and gives way, and the third structure com crumbles. Luckily, no one is injured, but you leave the crumbling building behind. Damn. That would have been nice. Still, normal morale. We're so good. So good. That the... Is, can we rest? Do we rest? Is it time to rest? We've rested! You enter a village of miners who want to know what's been happening recently between the rumblings of the quake and the sighing of dredge in the distance. You look around and see a lot of elderly and children and know that these people will only be more mouths to feed. Uh, we're just, we have renown. Let's just buy supplies with it. You make a convincing argument about leaving town before the dredge sheep do and do a fair job in convincing everybody to be completely terrified. They start packing. It remains to be seen whether you can keep them safe, as you say. Alright, let's, uh... Go to the market first. Ooh! One renown gets you six. Alright. What the fuck is this? Oh, an armor. That's pretty nice. Alright, let's go to... Let's talk the gun off. What's up, Gunnolf? Don't talk much, do you? You approach a massive green-clad bar who is sitting quietly by himself eating bread. So? Just wanted to know anybody who can cleave a dredge in two like, like that a little better. Oh, you, you just want to get to know the guy who can kill shit for you. I'm Rook. What to know? Ubin asked me to chop a dredge or two. I chop him. You travel with Ubin for long? Yeah, long time. When I was young, I fight for another Varro. It did not work out. But I learned to swing a sword. Ubin pays well. Gives me plenty of things to kill. To be honest, maybe too many things these days. You like that sword, huh? No, I love this sword. Given to me by old Skyrmar himself. When I started working for Ubin, he says, I protect the king's collection, I protect the king. Gunnolf makes an expression somewhat between pain and frustration. I couldn't save it, though. He makes a hand motion like an object falling from Paul and exploding. Yeah, we, we couldn't save it. It mattered a lot at the time. I don't think it mattered now. Skirmir's dead, anyway. I'll let you finish your meal. Want to be friends with Gunnolf, Rook? He pops the last chunk of bread in his mouth. Hunk of bread in his mouth. Keep food in the cart. Okay. Um... Alright, let's go to Heroes. And let's see who needs to be promoted. Alright, so Alette definitely needs to be promoted. It will take 10, so we'll have 25 left. Um, okay, we'll do that. So we have 25. Ugh, 15. 10. 10. Alright, what do we want to do? Oh, gone off. Holy fuck. Nope. Dude, I like you, but we should promote somebody from two, though. Um. If we promote you, you're 12, you're 14. I like Ivier, though. Alright, let's do Ivier. And then, how much food do we have? We have 15 renown, so. One, two, three, four, five. That'll get us 11 days worth of supplies. I wish we could trade in old items for renown. I wouldn't have bought so many. Ooh. Ooh. Alright. We'll get that. And... We'll go to heroes and... Give people shit. Alright. So, Alette... 
can have, what's this, two strength? No. What do you have? I, I don't have enough. Um, protects from death. Alright, so I think Alette should have that. You should have that. Um, everybody has something that we can give. What's this? You get that. Alright, I think we're good for now. Let's rest. Okay, and then we should leave. I think we should leave. We should leave. Everybody should leave. <laughs>